السلام علیکم آئی ایم فردہ رشید اینڈ می رول نمبر ایس پی پی ون سکس فائیو زیرو ٹو ففٹی ون آئی ایم اے فائنل ایئر اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ دا کورس نمبر ایس پی ایس ٹی سیون زیرو فائیو اینڈ دا ڈراپ ویچ از اسائن ٹو می ایس میگنیشیم سلفیٹ سو ناؤ لیٹس بگن ود دا ریشنل یوز آف دا ڈراپ ویچ از دا میگنیشیم سلفیٹ ان مائی کیس اٹس ریشنل یوز ایز پری ایکلیمسیا pre eclampsia is the development of hypertension and proteinuria after 20 weeks of gestation in most, most cases severe preeclampsia is an indication for delivery regardless of gestational age or maturity while um, we have to keep in mind that it's the preeclampsia okay and uh, which uh, and The next term is eclampsia. It is the additional presence of convulsion in a woman with preeclampsia. So I wanted to differentiate between these two terms. While uh, now the next is irrational use of drug. We have to keep in mind that magnesium sulfate is an anti-convulsant, not an anti-hypertensive. So irrational use of this magnesium sulfate injection is being sold to outpatient. for high bp um, now we have, let's move towards uh, alternatives uh, to magnesium sulfate the first alternative i have mentioned is diazepam uh, it is a class it, it is in a class of benzodiazepines it causes neither respiratory depression nor oliguria uh, it is a condition when urine output is less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour so uh, and these two conditions uh, is caused by magnesium sulfate so um, so uh, in this scenario diazepam can be used as an alternative phenytoin it includes more rapid cervical dilation um than magnesium sulfate and do not increase the duration of labor the third one is the methyl dopa um Uh, there is certain limitation for the magnesium sulfate that it is limited to the patients who have bp 160 by 110 so then methyl dopa is considered to be used as an alternative to magnesium sulfate now the dose in preeclamptic women um the magnesium sulfate uh, its dose is given uh, in 4 to 6 g iv as a loading dose followed by continuous infusion of 2 g per hr now the duration of therapy um depending on the severity of preeclampsia magnesium sulfate is continued for 24 hours after the delivery now the mechanism of action the mechanism of anti convulsant action of magnesium sulfate is partly mediated through blockade of an excited free amino acid receptor uh, nmda that is n methyl d aspartate um now the preferred route of administration it is administered by intramuscular or intravenous routes but uh, although iv route is far more common and is usually preferred now the adverse effects in magnesium toxicity um, it can cause flushing nausea muscle weakness and the most concerning is it is respiratory depression the loss of patellar reflexes it is a first sign of magnesium toxicity and it occurs when the magnesium concentrate mag magnesium sulfate concentration is about 8 to 12 mg per dl and we have also uh, should monitor urine output because um, it is uh, magnesium sulfate is renally excreted so yes we have to monitor urine output also now preferred dosage form is injectable solution um the drug drug interaction uh, it is with calcium channel blocker uh, in the next slides uh, in the coming slides i will mention more uh, with the example now the toxicity antidote how we can reverse the effect okay the reversal of the effects of excessive magnesium sulfate concentration is accomplished by the slow iv administration of 10% percent 
calcium gluconate along with oxygen supplementation if it is needed. Now, uh, the pharmacoeconomics, what are the, uh, what's the range um, with respect to the alternatives? What's the low and high price? So uh, the drug uh, which is assigned is the magnesium sulfate and its uh, brand name is MAGS and its price is 36. However, the alternatives I have mentioned before, like Dizepam, Phenytoin, and Methyldopa. Um, Dizepam, which is, uh, I have mentioned two, it's two brand name, which is Valium and Dizepam. And the Valium has a low price, which is about 120. However, Dizepam, which is of a high price, it is about 575 rupees. So we can see um, it is very much a difference here. Now, the phenytoin, um, it's dose of 30 milligram per ml and 2 milligram, uh, both are available. Um, it's two brands available, which is phenytoin and phenytoin. Uh, its low price is 250, uh, while phenytoin has a high price, which is about 1500 rupees. So, very, very huge difference. Uh, the next is methyl dopa. Um, it's two brands uh, I have mentioned, like Liscomat, which is a low price brand. It is about 150 rupees and Aldomed, it is a high price brand and it is about 638 rupees. Okay, the case which is relevant to my drug, uh, I have mentioned is a pregnant woman of gestational age of 34 weeks comes to the hospital and she complains of dizziness, edema, in her hands, face, legs, headache, and visual problems. And for the past three weeks, her BP was 150 mm mercury systolic and 100 mm mercury diastolic. And for the past two days, her condition uh, started worsening. And today her BP is 160 by 110 mm mercury and her um, protein dipstick uh, is three plus. And she, um, as she is uh, almost 30, uh, 34 weeks gestation, and if there is any uncontrollable severe hypertension as uh, there it is, so we have to go for the delivery by either induction or cesarean delivery and should not be delayed. So she has taken to the labor and um, um, and stabilization with magnesium sulfate is um, is given and we have to monitor for maternal and fetal well-being also required. So these are the laboratory testing we could say and uh, through which we can analyze um, and we can go towards the diagnosis with the help of these. So the first question is why magnesium sulfate is preferred? Why it is given in this condition? What are the drug drug interactions related to the magnesium sulfate? And what is the dose and duration of magnesium sulfate therapy? Now the soap notes, um, the first part is subjective. Uh, female, gender is female. She is 30 year old. Chief complaint was headache, dizziness, visual disturbances, and edema, and gestational age was 34 weeks. Objective, these are the lab assessment. BP is 160 by 110, which is um, high blood pressure. Serum creatinine is 1.2 milligram per DL, and the normal range of serum creatinine is 0.5 to 0.6. It is very much high. Okay, and while the uh, liver um, uh, transferases, which is the alanine amino transferases and aspartate, these are in the normal range. Total bilirubin is 1 milligram per DL. Platelates is 94, 95,000 per microliter. Hematocrit is 37 percentage. Hemoglobin is 13 gram per DL. And the retinum proteinuria is 3 plus. Now, what is assessment? Uh, means what is the likely diagnosis? Her blood pressure is 160 by 110. And we can also see her protein is, was also high. And serum creatinine is 1.3. And platelet, platelet count is 95,000, um, which is clearly indicating that she is thrombocytopenic patient. 
and obviously there were also the visual abnormalities and dizziness so these all indicate that she is suffering from severe preeclampsia now uh, plan and i have concluded the questions related to the case that why magnesium sulfate is preferred to give in this condition um for almost century magnesium sulfate has been used to prevent and to treat eclamptic convulsions we have other anti convulsants like diazepam and phenytoin but they have potential adverse effects on fetus so obviously we can't use them here and the second is what are the drug drug interactions to be concerned with my drug like uh, with this magnesium sulfate so yeah uh, as we have discussed before that um, its drug drug interaction is with calcium channel blocker and i have given here example which is the nafedipine so magnesium sulfate acts as a competitive inhibitor of calcium and by decreases its intracellular availability of calcium um so so it slows down smooth muscle contractions such as in the uterus so calcium channel blockers such as the nifedipine could initiate the inhibition of calcium influx and can lead to toxic effects such as the respiratory depression so yeah we have to uh, very clearly monitor uh, as, uh, especially with the calcium channel blocker and what is the dose and duration of magnesium sulfate its therapeutic level is 4 to 6 mg per dl toxic concentration having predictable consequences and we as we have discussed that the duration like 24 hours after delivery as uh, it is written here uh, because if it is continued the therapy too soon so the women with severe preeclampsia are at greater risk for disease exacerbation so we have to clearly monitor these are the references from where uh, i have taken the material and thank you